Right, now we're going to look at the very last part of the exercise, which is dealing with the deliverables, which is step 8, so we create a zip file. So we need to make an electronic of the copy of the source code, um, the compiled files, put them in a zip file with a read -in. So that's what we need to do. So the first uh, thing we can probably do is go to our <coughs> G drive where we were making things and perhaps make a new folder um, for our ACW, let's say. And then we can put in there some new things. So we might want to make a new text document, which we can call README. And uh, we can put, like, okay, so this is the README file for the submission. student number already in a file we can say <coughs> it contains the client called connect and the and there's some other useful information I won't want to put in there save that for now. Then I would want to copy in the connect and the respond so I can say copy for these and then I can go in the ACW folder and I can have those uh, copy over So, what I now need to do is make a zip file. Now, it's very tempting to then go up here and just go to this one and, and make a, a zip file of this. So, if we send that, we say send that to a zipped folder. But actually that would be wrong because we would now have a zip file containing a folder. One of the ways we can check that is so now you can run a, a test script to actually check that zip file. And there's one called check zip and you can just check the file. have a quick look at that zip file and, and check that you followed the rules like the other test scripts. So you can see it's giving some faults, it's saying the readme file is not at the top level, it's saying it included a lot of files that you didn't need to do. That's for several reasons, so we can delete that zip file that we made and go back into the ACW folder. The reason why it wasn't at the top level is because we should have just sent this to a zip folder just by selecting only those folds, fol folders. And you'll see it's now made a file uh, which is called respond.zip. So we could run that through the test script and we could say check zip and it's now called a 
seed of the respawn.zip. Now we don't get the error that the read means on the top level. However, we still do get the error that we've got all these unnecessary files in there. Because we didn't need to copy the whole lot, we just needed the source code. went with that. And we can just copy that binary. Go back. And then we can go into the server. Same thing. don't need these focus really all we needed for marking was a C sharp for a client, a C sharp for a server, the executable for a client, the executable for a server and a readme. And then we can select all of those and then say put them in a compressed zip folder which we can call for example ACW.zip. Then we can go to our command prompt. So now you can see it's checked that the readme is happy, it says it's found two C sharp files it's going to mark and it says the following files are included but not needed and there aren't any. So now we need to find out how to upload. So now we can go to eBridge which is the VLE where coursework is handed in at the university. So that will be the reach.hull.ac.uk and we can sign in there and once we've signed in we could find the correct site for the module 08241 for the correct year So here are the assignments, so we can submit the exercise from the YouTube and we just browse to select our assignment zip file like this. It uploads the zip file. And um, then we can submit the coursework. Says so you have successfully submitted your work, and then you can log out. 
So there we are. We've created a zip file, we've handed it in, we've done the whole assignment. So that's taken you through in many stages the whole assignment. So we could review what we've done. You've seen that even the best programmer uses books, uses resources to learn how to program, makes mistakes, tests it, corrects the mistakes. Actually there was quite a lot of work that went on uh, behind the scenes in this assignment. So you might wonder how much work went in that actually there's over 8,000 lines of programming went into running all of these test scripts that validated the work and 581 uh, another 500, so 8,500 lines of code that went on behind the scenes to support this exercise. So quite a lot of work went on behind the scenes.